Hello friends, welcome back to Align Plans. I am so glad that you are here and we get to hang out once again. So in today's video, I wanted to kind of give you guys uh, just a basically just a few tips that I have. We're going to be looking at three ways that you can use this little guy that was received in the previous month's uh, sub box from Cloth and Paper. So if you have this guy and you're sort of sitting there wondering, what can I use this for? Well, girl, I got you covered. We're going to be looking at three different ways for three different types of beautiful planners that that can actually use this so i'm going to give you some some ideas of how you can use them and at the very end i will also show you just a couple of basic things that you can um, that you can add in there that will make it a little bit more functional so if that sounds good why don't we just dive right in and of course if you are brand new here thank you so much for coming by i'm so glad that we're hanging out once again and talking anything and everything planning um if you are new here obviously consider subscribing if you haven't yet already we chat at least one to two times a week and we dive into minimalist planning and really looking at how we can use this tool as the most intentional way so let's talk about this so first of all if you have received um, november's sub box um if you haven't seen my unboxing video where i kind of unbox all of this then i will just link it somewhere on the screen so you can check that out but i I did receive a few questions around this of what can you do with this? So I kind of broke it down into three different categories. If you're a student, if you are a mom or you work full time and you have a family or if you own a business. So we're going to be looking at three totally different categories, three totally different cycles in um, or seasons in life as you will. So let's first begin with students. So what can you use this if you're a student and you already have a planner? Well, um, well, first let's take a look at this. So it comes with, so you have like a year at a glance for 2022. And then it shows you all of the, the holidays that are kind of coming up. And then we dive right into here's your monthly overview. And then you have a monthly view. And then from there, you basically have, um, looks like it's the, the vertical, the vertical weekly. And then that kind of goes on for the entire year. And at the very end, you also have some um, a page for contacts and phone numbers, some notes, very minimal notes, and then the rest is basically just repeats all throughout the year. So the first way that I think you can use this is obviously um, to create a separation between your school and your family. So with with um, you can use them for school in a very specific way when you're really just writing down what is coming up, but really like creating almost like a, a study schedule. So not so much writing down your actual schedule of what what kind of classes you have coming up or when you have, you know, winter break and that sort of thing, but really writing down, you know, diving a little bit deeper, like what type of books you need to research if you have to do some research over the winter break or you know how you should be really progressing along with each of your subjects i think that this is fantastic for that because you have the line paper that kind of breaks it down let me just get this zoomed in so you can see what i mean um another way that and i also really really love the fact that you have a monthly view so a couple of things before we even get to the monthly view let's talk about the year at a glance so with the year at a glance i think that one of the nicest ways that you can really utilize this specifically for school is if you're using something like the transparent dots or the transparent mini so i'll show you the, the size difference so this is a mini dot and here's the micro dot so as you can tell these are like really really tiny but they're actually perfect at highlighting certain dates that are really specific to school. And if you can also use this um, if you are a student as memory keeping. And actually, no matter who you are, I think that this is also really great for memory keeping because you don't necessarily have to utilize the space here. You can actually just fill it up with pictures and decorate it. But for specifically for school, you can kind of um, add in your key at the top and then you can sort of use the dots for just marking down any of your subjects or or anything that you kind of like any specific days that are really important moving on to if you're a mom or if you work full-time so obviously if you're a mom there's 
honestly, me personally, with anything and everything that's going on with kids and with their schedules, and it's like a whole life of its own, really. So a lot of the times, yes, you can absolutely keep it in um, in your own planner for sure. I think that it's really nice when you create a separation only because then that way you can, again, use the year at a glance and then you can use, jot down any important dates, birthdays, birthday party preps, things like that, but then also bills that are specific to your children. So bills that are specific to the family. So it could be like, I don't know, dentist appointment or like that sort of thing, like anything that really is to really family or if you're actually planning for a family vacation, this would be a really nice, nice spot to not only keep track of it, but then you can also use this to, to kind of plan for that. And then obviously on the monthly, you can use it for finances, which I really love. I really love having just a separate, um, a separate spread, a separate monthly view for finances only. Um, we will get into what my actual financial setup is for 2022 in a separate video. But for now, like if you just kind of like wanted to gather some ideas, you can use it for finance, but you can also use it um, if you don't want to use it for your children or if you don't have children, you want to use it for a career specifically. It's a really nice way to not only keep track of here, but also on a weekly basis of how you're doing. If you're working for a corporation, how you're doing, if there's um, any type of quota or any type of goal that you have in your professional life, it's a nice way to kind of keep track of that. That is highly specific and really separate away from your day-to-day -day, like schedule. And also it's a nice way to kind of keep track of any upcoming openings, job openings, anything that you kind of want to sort of keep your eye on that you can kind of work towards. So you can really use it in a very specific way when it comes to career. And then of course, let's talk about the last one, which is obviously the closest to my heart. If you own a business, what happens if you own a business? How can you, or if you have a side hustle? So if you have a business or a side hustle, to me, they're kind of the same, but let's say that you have a physical location, or if you're about to run an online business. So for online businesses, I'm actually, um, one of my favorite ways that I would actually like to utilize this, and that's how I'm planning on using this, is for social media only. So anything and everything social media related, just kind of start writing it down here. Again, going back to the whole dots thing where we can really use this to color coordinate or to highlight what we want to kind of work on. Um, some of these little stickies, this one is, um, this one happens to be from Hey Planner Girl. Um, if you have like the icons, they are great to kind of separate. Okay, when are you working on shooting a video? When are you working on editing a video? When are you uploading it? Especially if you have multiple accounts, then what you can also do is it, instead of using the dots, you can also use highlighters. So I have a, quite a few of them here. Um, obviously the most common one is for uh, the Tombow pens. Uh, my only recommendation with Tombow pens or any of the highlighters really, is if you end up using them in your planner, to just stick to the same colors. So if you're going to be color coordinating at the beginning of the year, stick with the same key for the whole year. Otherwise it will get really confusing and it's, it's not really going to be as effective as you want it to be. So you can use it for social media planning. And if for business, it's a little bit of a different, a whole pile of enchilada because for business, I would actually recommend kind of almost like future planning where you can kind of write down, okay, taxes are due here. Talk to the accountant by April or whatever. So you can really pre-plan not only tax preparation, you can also pre-plan any of your launches if they are seasonal, especially if you create products. And you can kind of work your way back of what needs to get done. It's almost like a, a project management tool, essentially. And now I recognize that obviously there's a lot of fantastic project management tools online, but having something physical that you have to write into and actually double check, sometimes it's a lot nicer when you write it down and then you transfer it into a computer or vice versa. You can use, you know, the computer, the, the software, whatever you end up using as a project management tool, but then you transfer it into writing. It will solidify it in your brain just a little bit more. So you will likely remember it more. Now, as far as tools are concerned, obviously in last month's box, we had both of these like half page 
stickies, which you can use to, again, highlight things, color coordinate them. So there's multiple ways of using them. I kind of like, I kind of like these as well, the little semicircle stickies, because again, it just kind of highlights parts of the page that makes it really jump for me. If you guys want to see um, in a separate video, if you want to see sort of how I can use some of these accessories, just let me know in the comments and I'm happy to film that for you guys. But for now, like these are the three ways that I think, or the three forms that I think would be a really ideal way of utilizing this little guy. I know that it's something separate, now, if you're, and of course, you know what, here's a bonus for those of you that are absolute planner lovers and you're kind of sitting there like, oh my God, I already have my 2022 lineup completed. What can I use this for? Um, you can use it to literally for memory keeping, just something completely separate. It's already created for you. Use it for memory keeping. You can also use it, as I said, like if you're doing anything on social media to just keep it completely separate from your day to day because it gives you enough space to kind of dive into the details a little bit more. But really you can also, here's a kicker, and I know most of you will hate this idea, you can gift it. You can gift this full planner setup to someone who doesn't actually have a minimalist planner, but, and they're kind of intimidated by not really knowing sort of where to start. So it's not necessarily for you. It could be for someone else. So these are some of my tips for you. I hope that you guys found this helpful and useful. Let me know in the comments how you are using this guy. I really, really love this. And I'm, I'm excited to dive into using this in a really intentional way in 2022. But let me know in the comments how you're using yours and if any of these tips resonated. And in the meanwhile, I'll just keep planning you guys, keep shining your light, and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next one. Bye.